Why did we hire this person again? <laughs> Need to hire vendors and put food and drinks up and info stand too. Okay. Uh, let's see. Facilities. That's all we've got. Small animal exhibits. Guest facilities. Information. Merchandise. Happy anniversary. I've got nothing. Look, that's literally all I've got. Hmm. <laughs> Blueprint. A small research center. A large shop. Can we hit him with merch on the way out? Can we do that? Um. Is that what you want to have? <laughs> oh, great. Uh, five R five. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the filter was on. Hold on. No, it wasn't. Filter's not on. Filter's on on nature, but it's not on on facilities. But I had something typed in. Right. Information center, Planet Zoo, info shop. A theme shop with an info center aisle. Two and a half grand. Merchandise, food stalls. Food and drink stalls. Where are they best placed then? Like, do we want them on the main walkway here, I guess? Because I could have another... Actually, don't want another thing too close to that. Maybe here will be the next area. Maybe the guests' drinks and food should be around here. Sell squirrel t-shirts? Lol. They're very expensive, these things. Jeez, this is going to, like, kill us some money. So what's more important then, information or a shop? I take it a shop's going to generate revenue. So if you put down a themed a drink shop, it's going to take a long time to, to get two and a half grand back, though, isn't it? <laughs> You'd say a toilet. Baz, they can just weigh on the grass. I don't care. It's all natural fertilizers. Make a small shop for 530. What? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Does that work? An ATM, lol. That's not a shop, it's a decorative house. It says Planet Zoo small shop up here. Have a balloon stand near the enclosures. Oh, that's a frame. It is like Planet Coaster. 
Now we have to put a shop inside, don't we? I remember this. How do we build a shop inside here? Exhibitor training? Exhibit training? What on earth is this? You'll get a complaint with no toilets. Eh. How do we actually buy a shop? Staff facilities, utilities. That's a drink shop. I'm just going to sell that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Planet Zoo Toilet, 2,300. Yikes. They are. They can go on the way in and on the way out. Finally, doing your job. Finally. Come on, fill it up. There we go. Our vendor. Will he stay there or do I have to create a work zone for him? Vendors Craig work zone. How are these guys getting on? Enrichments. Food enrichment and toy enrichment. Why is this constantly empty? I don't get it. That's a hilarious camera view. Looks like me. A little bit. Oh, look at that, they're fighting. That's so cool. That's bro. Indeed, strutting their stuff. 
Right. Let's uh in rubbish trash. How many different words do we need? Planet zoo bin, recycling bin. Do we need both? Isn't this one supposed to be green and that one blue? Welcome back, Meta. It's a good job they don't mistake the donation bin for the actual litter bin. End up throwing a tenner into the uh, bin. Gulpy soda. Oh my god, you can set the prices. Right, they've finally got food. Last meal quality, 50%. It's still no water. I don't, it, it's room, it, I don't get it. Why do I have to keep micromanaging water supply? I don't understand. Yeah, you hire staff, you tell them to work in that area. They've got nothing else to do. Surely they're just going to keep supplying water and food. Keep randomly checking research because sometimes the vet stops for no reason. It's a glitch. You only got feeders, not water ones. What's that? Oh. Oh, did I put the wrong thing down? Oh my god. Hang on. Oh, I put the wrong thing down. Water bowl large. Water pipe. It's got to be a trough, hasn't it? Keep it on route. There we go. The water pipe is infinite, no need for workers. Ah, is that the difference? I was going to say, does it have day night cycles? Apparently it does. That's pretty cool. Atmosphere conditions. Nice. I need bedding. Um, let's see. Habitat. What else have we got? So if you put that there, that'll never run out because it's always piped in. It's got a weather system as well. When you're going to storm and you zoo, the animals want for the shelters. Nice. How's the old research going? Wait, what? No vet assigned. 
I think we need to hire another vet. I think what's happening is that vet was researching until I said deliver a warthog and then that vet went off and did that and never came back for research. I think that's what happened. I reckon you need to have like another dedicated vet just for research. So I think we'll hire another, another vet. And then... I have to say, your work zone is the same as that one, though. Which I think was everything. Work zone to staff room, research center, and trade center, too. In this work zone green, in this work zone and another blue, in another work zone, Happy anniversary, not any work zone. Nata. Okay. Whoa, it's gone dark. Can we put lamps up? How do you put lighting? It seems we have a 24 hour zoo. Check the water pump covers the enclosure since you put the water since you put the what since you put in water pipe. Um I take it that means we don't have any water pipe. How do you do that? <laughs> Facilities, maybe? Utilities, water treatment. I don't think we've got any water cover here. $2,000 for water treatment. So is that is that now covered from that? Current volume zero. Water treatment purify waters like lakes and puddles. Yikes, that's dark. So this one's manually replenished. Is that why I had no water in it? Because I didn't have it within an area of the water supply. So a, a, a keeper can't bring water unless it's within a zone of a water supply. I assume I'll now bring it then. What the heck is that? What's going on there? What's going on? Needs a mechanic. Oh my god. Work zone three D. Work 
Work zone three in this work zone green. In this and another work zone. Well, the mechanic's going to have to look after everything, isn't he? So as long as it's green or blue, it's covered. So that mechanic should now be doing stuff. research is taking a while if you actually build another research station i take it it'll combine and do it all quicker wait who's this we'll expect a higher salary Workload breakdown. 78% idle. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like to get paid to be 78% idle. Sounds great. Where's the mechanic? What the heck is he doing? What are you doing, bro? Recent thoughts. I am absolutely loving this job. <laughs> Money isn't really an issue. I just love being a mechanic. This guy's a genius. Dude, have you got any friends just like you that don't care about the money and love the job? Oh my god, look at the state of the fence. Can you fix it, bro? Call the mechanic. You need to sort that out. You need to sort it out right now. That common warthog looks bored, somebody said. Here he goes. Here he goes. I'm curious. Hit it with a hammer. Always works. Gaffer tape, WD-40, and a hammer. You can fix anything. Oh, what are you doing? Still have no water here. Which I really don't understand. See, she comes in, but I don't think she's filling this up. See? I don't know why. I'm obviously not doing something correct. You need to click the hogs to see what the fence, what fence to get them. The one seems a bit weak. Let's have a look. I think if they're happy, it'll be fine. It's only if they get upset. Where's the other two hogs gone? Wait, what? We should have three in here. You haven't assigned water to the habitat. Ah. Is that what it is? Select habitat. Habitat one. Get to have them injured in fight. 
Oh, the vet took him away. Gotcha. Okay, I'm not quite getting this. Select habitat. What do I click now? Why is this not assigned to the habitat? I don't get it. SK Jeanberg, 64 months, new shiny button. What does it do? The same as it did last month. <laughs> uh, GR14 Gaming, thank you for almost half a year, sir. But John Wee, likewise. Yeah, I don't get this. I don't. Know, I don't know how to make this part of this habitat. Don't get it. Anyway, I was going to try and work out what kind of fence this guy wants. Let's have a look. Environment. Parse error in value equals Doyle. Does this have a broken fence? No. What does it tell you what kind of fence to put him in then? Hey, Bretson. Are they still in the vet then? Wait, I didn't build a vet building, did I? Maybe that's why he's running back and forth. He's probably running around trying to find the uh, surgery that I never built him. Uh, the ZPD shows you the minimum resistance required. Let's see if he goes in now. Yeah, see? He's like running around going, What's the surgery? <laughs> Where is he, guys? I'm like, yeah, we forgot to build that. Why is this taking so long? Come on, really like one bar through? Protesters have arrived. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Zoopedia, right. Okay, so what does it tell us here? Species data. Hey. World records. Look at this. Wait. Oh, they just brought them back. That's cool. I still don't know where it tells you what kind of fence you want. Don't forget to donate. Ooh, look at that donation box. 
<gasps> Look at the money! Just people like this is amazing. This is the best war talk I've ever seen. I'm gonna get these war talks on just chatting. Get me in front of a camera and a green screen. I reckon they get you for more money. What are you all protesting about? These guys love it. Come on. Animals being protested. Asim. Asim's elderly, apparently. At least a grade two fence. I don't know what I built. Is this a grade two? Where does it say what grade this fence is? Let's have a look. Resistance grade four. That's fine. A grade two fence is glass. A three is wood. A five is brick. Corrugated is two. Chain link is four. Yeah, that's fine. So that's the minimum. And this is even stronger than that, apparently. Testers are packing up. Can we not charge for the toilet? Yeah, we can actually. Okay, it's costing a uh, hundred dollars running costs. I think we should charge fifty cents. Fifty cents to to go. That's that's fair, isn't it? Actually, do do we set a ticket price to get in this place? Zoo entrance. Ticket sales. Three dollars? That's an absolute bargain. A pound of poo? No, it should be a pound of log. I reckon. Pound of log and ten pounds if it's runny. How's that? Right, ticket prices are going up. Because these, these warthogs are amazing. Right, let's build another pen off this thing. Don't think we're making much money, but... <laughs> Enjoy your pudding. <laughs> Mythical Beast, thank you for three months. Uh, I really don't like this pathing system. Snapping onto that. Go away. Go away. Right, put that on four. Increase the price for drinks as well. Uh, soda. How much are we charging for soda? Prices. Five dollars? Blimey. I don't get it. They charge three dollars to get in and five dollars for a drink? This is like the theatre. I don't think we need to bump the prices up.
Okay, we'll have someone else here. Let's have a look what's on the uh, animal market. Love of donations, not entrance fee, that's true. But the price of soda relative to the entrance fee is weird. Ooh, Indian peafowl. What the heck is a Nile monitor? I think the game's trying to get me to do peafowl, what do you think? Large lizards. Let's see. 750 appeal. Because, see, they were the default uh, opening times. I've not changed them. Buy a female water that's fertile. It's not a bad plan, dude. However, I can't find one. Like, this, all the female ones we've found. Uh, old oh, there's a youngish one 4.9 3.3 that's got to be fertile 100% fertile come on adopt yay get in Nice. Ooh, African buffalo. Pity I can't even get anywhere near that price. Springbok, they sound fun. You don't think the male is fertile? I thought we had more than one male. Xena. Male. It doesn't say on here. Zero percent fertility. Why? Female. Zero percent fertility. Wow, these are like the worst ones ever. 100% facility females just arrived. A male with 33% facility. You have to put toys into increase. I know, but we're researching it, aren't we? This is nuts. Chance of successful conception, 41%. Hang on. This is like doing some kind of date matching game now. <laughs> Come on, filter. Warthog. Prize. We want a male... Three point one years facilities rubbish. Come on, we need a highly fertile immunity gene. Sixty, that's not bad stats. Oh, are you serious? Some scumbag bagged it. Need to be quick at this. How do you tell it to refresh this page? Whoa. 
15 leaves for that. It's getting more and more expensive looking at it. See, I'm thinking now what you should do is, is spend a bit of money at the start, get some highly fertile, decent stats, and then just let them breed. Because otherwise you're going to have to keep coming back buying expensive things. You'll do. So, do I have to tell them to sort of match now, or will they just automatically find each other? You had ones at 100 at the start. I, to be honest, at that point, when we first looked in that market, I hadn't got a clue what I was doing. Good afternoon, if you just joined? Multiplayer, I don't believe so. I still have no idea about these, so they could just disappear. There's no point in them being around. They never get filled up. Mill quality is not fantastic. Do they automatically do it, um, oh, yeah, yeah, Zigwig? Yeah, yeah. Are the walls really dirty? Yeah, you know why? Because the mechanic. It seems like you have to micromanage the staff. Right, so if we click on this now, this is the new one. Compare mates, and then find super fertile female. 57% chance. So, we'll just leave them, right? If you click the habitat in the staff menu, you should be able to change the frequency of the visits by the mechanic. Click the... You click on the habitat, then the staff menu. Time since last visit one year. Routine visits every year. Every six months. Oh, yeah, what, yeah. a vet turns up every six months? <laughs> Time zones are weird. No, we've got a water thing. The water thing's there, look. However, it does appear like only one food trough gets filled up. I don't know. Unless I've just eaten all that one. That's what she does. Yeah, look, never fill this one up. You can disable the other warthogs from mating. Yeah, that's a good plan. That one has a 0% fertility anyway. Why does it say immunity 18%? What's that about? Hey, hey. Oh, oh, wow. 
So these are the two we want to get jiggy. Alright, so this guy's filling this food tray up, but I don't think he fills this one up. So it kind of feels like there's no point having two of these. Dude, can you hurry up and fix the fence? Risk of diseases, but I thought they hadn't implemented it yet. Yeah, I think you're right. So it probably doesn't matter. Right. Next thing we're going to get. Let's just pause it a sec. I think we're going to have to get Indian P-File. Need to get some decent stats. 3.4 years. It's a reasonably good male. Uh, you can sell the elders or you don't want as well make a little money. Oh, can you just sell them? Could do. Uh, let's see. Young adult. Non. Like me. That one. That's a good mile. Decent female. Get another decent female if we can. 12 years, blimey. Why is that shown there when I've filtered it? Right. I'm thinking for Indian peafowl, you probably get away with a chain link fence. Hopefully. And bought you would buy an infertile. <laughs> True. What are you reckon? Two and a half meters? There's one more glass here, I know. But I don't think we need it for this animal. on put up i really hate this length system it's really fiddly
out. Let's put the gate up around it. Habitat gate, wooden habitat gate. Whoa, 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 game, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's really hard trying to move a, a fence post at 0 0.5 FPS. Um, right, so let's see. We know we're going to want some water in here. I think that should be, yeah, that's well within the water thing. He foul, call that one. So now, I guess, you have to remember that you need to go to the staff menu, go to the work zones, and then edit each work zone to make sure that you add I, I kind of feel like you're going to have to name these work zones and get really, like, organized with them. Yeah, these P file have got quite a big pen. I could probably do a smaller one, but... Meh. I mean, we could split it. You could probably, like... Yeah, we could split it. It's quite big. called Deliveroo. Speaking of workers, you should name one called Dr. Dre. beef oh my god you're in a zoo and you're buying burgers there's something not right mm, i think we're too close or something it's not liking that Just a second. Found out what this guy likes. Welcome to Hog the burgers. <laughs> Whoa. Um, Brad Sun. I'm so sorry, mate. I missed your bit. 
It's not squirrel cheese, but please have some of that fancy chicken for me, and please don't go to some yank restaurant in Cosford. <laughs> what, you mean, um, you mean Nando's? Thank you very much for 2,000 bits, Mr. Brett, Sam. It's very kind of you. Very kind. I take it you mean Nando. I wish I could send you a Nando. What do you do? Maybe, oh, I know what I could do. I could send you some Nando sauce. I could, I can do that because we can buy Nando sauce over here. I might, I might send you some Nando sauce, a couple of different ones, because it's quite nice. They do um, the lime ones really nice with fries and stuff, and then I could send you one of the hot sauces for. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll make it happen. The petrol heads. A Nile monitor is a large lizard found in the Nile in Africa, hence the name. The more you know. I think I've got it. I've now, Bretson. Have I already got your address? I'm sure I posted you something. Squirrel cap? If I can't find it, I'll message you. Or just send it me anyway, it'd be easy. AN4211 has gifted a sub to Seaway and ZYN... ZYN Zinzi, I think it is. Welcome, guys. Thank you, AN. You sure? Yeah. Just message me your address again. I'll, uh, I'll make it happen. Uh, habitat. Temperature, terrain. Ooh. Do they want it hotter or colder? It's too hot. Is it inappropriate? Okay, let's do the terrain first. Alright, what do they want? They want more short grass. Welcome back, Nutter. I don't like the long grass, apparently. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Nando's isn't overrated. Nando's is amazing. Uh oh. Uh, got too much short grass, not enough soil. bit of rock there we go what are our thoughts now on the game there are things that really bug me about the game it feels like at the moment there's a lot of micromanagement but i don't know i can't really i can't really say because there's lots i don't understand about the game but uh the pathing path still bugs me <laughs> i guess it's something i'm gonna have to get used to but you know, you end up with like wonky stuff all the time. Like that. That bugs me. <laughs> Cause I like having it like and you know, that irritates me. But I guess I'm gonna have to learn that. It seems like there's a reasonable amount of depth. I do worry about there being too much micromanagement. Right, we're gonna construct a Doesn't seem like the right shelter for a peahen, if I'm honest. I think what I'll do is I'll put this I 
do that. Can you get this early access like anyone? Um, I don't think anyone. I think they give it to like content creators at the moment. I think that's how it works. Right, so we've got the terrain source. If you unpause that, it should fill up. Environment coverage is... Ooh, they don't want that much coverage. Asia continent with a temperate biome. don't like many plants, do they? Um... I need more adults in here. Food and water. We've already got the water sorted out. It said it was too hot for them, didn't it? We might have to put some coolers in here. Do you think we put coolers or sprinklers? I don't know. Make a squirrel logo out the grass. If I could be bothered... the sprinkler again I can't remember how we get the sprinkler cooler and heaters The temperature's in there, but I don't know where it is. Isn't it a toy? I don't know. I would have thought it was under habitat. Maybe I have to research it. That would be, that would really suck if I have to research it. Sprinkles enrichment item, which means research. No. Right, I'm going to do the research facility then. Another, it's a vet, isn't it? I think that works in research. I 
MDMP file, what was your name? Douglas, right, Douglas. Wait, is this... Oh my god. No vet assigned again. Are you actually serious? It keeps on pinging that, doesn't it? You're off to sleep, Britson. Hope to see a stream or two at Cosford. You know what? I don't think the internet's anywhere near capable of it. We'll see what we can do from, like, the town centre, but I don't think at Cosford there's any hope of a stream. But thank you, sir. Don't forget to message me with your address and I'll, uh, I'll get you some Nando stuff. It's taken a very, very, very long time to research anything. Like, way too long. And I don't know how you speed it up. So, I don't think it's a bug that they stop researching. I think what happens is, if you need, like that, see, it just happened then. If you needed a vet to go and do something else, it stops them researching, they go and do that thing, and then they don't come back. That's why that keeps happening. And I think the only solution to it is to hire another vet. Or maybe the trick is, make sure your research vets are not assigned to any area that's got work. So Douglas, no work zone. Ebony, no work zone. Other two, work zone two. Maybe. Maybe that's the way to do it. Right, so I've just asked for three things to be moved. Which is going to need vets. So I'm hoping they won't go there because they're not assigned to this work zone. Or just assigned to research centres. Yeah, but if you don't assign them anywhere, then they shouldn't accept work from anywhere. And therefore they should just stay inside this thing. Like, that's Byron. See, Douglas has gone doing that job. I don't get it. Why is Douglas doing that when he's meant to research? Okay, let's do that then. It's a little bit micromanagey, but okay. Um... Right, Douglas and Ebony are on research now. Which means just those machine, just those buildings. Which is research, trade center, and research, and that's it. Um, how can we tell if we need to hire more keepers? Energy efficiency workload. Oh, 
Plus meal quality. Okay, habitat's good though. Adult population, we need more than four. Blimey. Apparently we need more. Uh, Tamashanta, 45 months. Wait, didn't you press that last week, Tamashanta? Sure you did. Happy anniversary, Nata. Because I'm sure you did it like 10 minutes after I finished streaming. Animal is starving. One second. That's not good. Oh, look. Just bring in food. Hands on. <laughs> it's like she talks to Peafowl like she's calling a dog. Nicolaiath. Can't be close to death. You're right next to food. Don't die. Eat. Cost me a lot of money. Get eating. Jeez, man. Uh, Paul, you love Planet Coast. Hope this turns out to be as good. Thanks for entertainment. You're welcome. Dan Bobberman. Thank you for a Twitch baby nine months. Uh, I've not got into the construction side yet, Denology. I'm trying to understand the mechanics of running a zoo, if you like. How many times do we get to click on this and be told it's not available anymore? These filter things are tedious. You should be able to, like, when you've made a filter like this, you should be able to create a preset for it, and then every time you come back here, you can just choose the preset. You need a quarantine, you need a workshop. Why? Vet research complete. Power source failing. That's not good. Research collected, you've discovered three items over one species. Wait, haven't I been researching Warthog stuff forever and I've just got PFAL stuff like that? Can you put more than one person on this? No. That sucks.
Right, so I've now got a slow feeder that's been researched. I thought it said we had three things. I thought it said three things in one species. Uh, you can make it down so many times. Yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind so much if he could put street light in it. socially a bit happier now. They need bedding in here. Say we don't have. <laughs> We're leaving money on the table here. Don't bail me. Thank you, 43 months. What do I think it is so far? I'm warming to it. It seems to have a reasonable amount of depth. See, Jurassic Park World, when I played that, I found that very quickly there wasn't enough management in it and the three, three NPC characters were very, very annoying in that you could only ever keep two of them happy because no matter what decision you made, two of the NPCs would, would inevitably either be neutral or be happier, and one of them would always be annoyed with any any decision you made, and then they would come and sabotage your park, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, Jurassic Park evolution, I mean. Um, but there's none of that nonsense here, and there's quite a large variety of animals it seems i am a little bit worried about micromanagement at this stage but i've not got far enough to understand that yet um it's a lot of creativity straight out of like planet coaster but it's the management is where this will like rise and fall <laughs> 